For me, Mountaintop really opens up the doors to being able to do what you want. Uh, it gives you your own freedom, uh, and it shows you kind of what the real world is like a little bit, and that you have to be self-driven, you have to do your own things. So there's not somebody there telling you what to do and parenting you the whole way. While we have the guidance and stuff of like our advisor, we're really open to do our own thing, and I think that's an invaluable experience that I'm getting here. It's really cool and it's really fun. I think for me it's like walking around into like the two buildings. It's crazy to see what people come up with. I can't believe that someone is actually going to take apart a car to like remodel an old engine into it like for a new car. Like that is not even something I would think about doing, right? But like to see that the like someone else is really, really excited about that. We have all these resources from 3D printers to a wood shop to a machine shop and all these professors willing to help us. Um, it's the first time that there's just a wealth of information and resources that we have easy access to and the word no is hard to come by. Our professor, Professor Bocchini, came up with a code in MATLAB along with other colleagues in Italy and it tests for blockages, so we're running our own tests and see what works about the code, and we're going to see if we can add anything new or if we can improve it somehow. You can't yeah. actually power your car, but what you do is you sell them the battery. My project is you urban planning and transportation. Uh, yeah. You yeah. trick them. So, the scope of the project is about as broad as the title would suggest. Are you in the same room as me? Is it the gong? Yeah, yeah, I am. No, no that was not the gong. Okay. So we're doing a social stimulation lab where we're essentially creating and designing a board game. For us we want to make it kind of educational but also really fun and so we're trying to look at topics that might be kind of complicated or serious and simplify them a little bit so people can play a game and learn about them in a more interesting way. So my project is taking this car behind me, I'm taking the engine out of it. It's a 94 Taurus SHO. The SHO stands for super high output. So it's a really, really cool V6 engine, but the car is a really, really crappy car. So I'm getting the engine for very cheap, and my goal is to put that in a lightweight rear-wheel drive vehicle. I'm trying to develop a kit to make this process for the end user go from a fabrication process to a bolt-on process. <laughs> You're so mad right now. You are so mad and I love it. <laughs> Primarily our first week and now we're into our second week so we're kind of transitioning into doing more research on our game topic. But the first week we spent almost all of the time playing games. And that's been really fun because it's a great way for us to get to know each other and to get to know our advisor and to just become comfortable with the whole mountaintop experience. Remember, you're all, oh, you were there, you were there. There's no clues there. 122. No. Check that. It's actually been really no. cool because our team, we mesh so well. Coming into the program, like, I didn't know if that was going to be, like, if our team dynamics were going to be good at all. Oh but they actually are. Like, it's really fun because we all have different types of personalities, but they all work so well together. I don't trust them! <laughs> Some people shine in certain aspects, and they were able to bring that unique, their unique skills to the project. However, on the other side, some people are very they can be OCD about certain things and they want it to be a very specific way. So when two different people are trying to do it two different ways, it can cause some issues. And uh, when nine different people have a certain idea on how to do something, it can get a little crazy. I would think that goes first, right? That goes first. Yeah, I would think that goes first. Put this in. Put that in. There's okay. Like Put that in. Okay. And then... No, you don't get it have to I think okay. for the most part, and now we we've really come together and there, have, there hasn't been too much infighting between us. I think um, we really bring different ideas together and communicate and build off of each other, build off of each idea that we create. At the beginning, it was very clean and you know everyone was just coming up with different ideas, but definitely as you get farther along and people start realizing there's some pressure there, there's, there's some head buying, but it's definitely been a great experience. We've been able to work with a lot of people we don't normally work with because I've never worked with a computer science guy before. Uh, Ariel is from Pratt, interior design, urban design. That's nothing I've ever experienced in the mechanical engineering department, which I think is great. I've been able to see a, 
a different side of this project from seeing it through their view. Because for me, as a mechanical engineer, I see more of the mathematical side of things, and I've been able to, I don't know, just take a different perspective. My impression at the very beginning of the project was, oh, it's going to be so easy. Ten weeks is way too much time. It's going to go by so fast. Uh, there's going to be no problems whatsoever. We're just going to start off, build it, and it's going to be done. But as it turns out, uh, things are not as easy as they seem. Go and close. Go and close the other one. There were a lot of things that we didn't expect to be problems that were, and we kind of had to address them as they came. But it was really cool afterwards to know that, hey, we encountered this issue with our project, and we worked on it, and we found a solution, and we were able to get past it. I know for us, like even a failure, failure is still a success in a way, because no one has really tested this before so like whatever we end up with at the end of the summer is still something completely new so it is still successful even if we didn't get the results we wanted. They're going to a point that's why it's not working they're going to a point. Well, yeah, yeah, you're right. How does that block support? So how does it go? Oh, that's awesome. They just Wait, closed. It? it just closed. Oh, it just closed. No. I just got it. Okay, so you guys lose okay. a dime. So you all lose a dime. Well, something went wrong uh, just a few minutes ago when we destroyed our motor that we just got. So there's that. Now we have to figure out how to fix that, which is actually going to be kind of cool because we get to see how we can take this new motor apart and put it back together again, order new parts and stuff like that. So, you know, silver lining, I guess. It's been a lot slower than I expected. It's been just a lot, a lot of iteration, sort of, of correcting small things. You know, I have all these stack of wooden templates here. Um, you know, putting one on, seeing what's wrong with it, and then making another one, and making another one, and making another one until I thought I had it right. And then finally, you know, it could cut it out of the metal or whatever. So I'm getting very close to almost sort of the big triumph of the summer. While I'm at Lehigh, you know, the resources that we have here are just like unbelievable to help me learn and to do something like this. You know, once I'm on my own, figuring all this out would be much, much more challenging. And then putting what I figure out in, you know, completing it would be even more challenging. Every single group at Mountaintop is a resource. Like, you can bounce ideas, go see what they're doing. I don't know, it's just been really, really cool perspective. Um, let's see, uh, we're at like eight weeks in. I would think I've probably been putting in roughly 60 hours a week. So eight times six is what, eight times 480 hours roughly. There's been a lot of time. Um, so if I start at the very beginning, sort of, you know, I started first with a, so there's, I mapped out all these different holes on the engine in SolidWorks, and then, then we moved on to this, which is, well, this is my centering jig like this, and this, I've just spent a lot of time making very precise holes. As Chris. And then you have the pressure plate, which provides the clamping force. So that took some time to sort of figure out how to do that. Some other logistics as to the end goal of putting this engine in a car and not just getting a transmission on it. <laughs> we created a game that simulates the market crash and the recession in 2008. And it really works well, I think, into showing people um, kind of how that came about and like what happened. I think we were able to create a fun game that is enjoyable but also informative because a lot of people were kind of misinformed or uninformed about what happened during that time. Just the experience of finally leading something and not just following teachers instructions. It was more of like 
okay, this is what we need to do, but they're not telling well, us how to do it. Is. We've so ran into it that, like a yeah. whole number of our challenges, our triumphs and failures, but that all is, that just comes along with the experience. You keep pushing and, and failing and figuring out where your problems exist, solving those problems, solving more problems, and then at the end of the day, you create something that is likely totally different from what you originally thought it was. Best that I can tell, it looks like, it looks like it fits, so this, this is pretty cool. <laughs> so if it fits, then I've made this transmission theoretically work behind this engine, which means that then uh, kind of the next big step is to start working on getting this in the car. For me, it's been a lot of team building. So it's been really great to be able to work in this group for 10 weeks and you know be able to kind of figure out, okay, so if we have discrepancies within a project, how do we kind of go about that? Like how do we work well together? How do we, you know, just kind of manage our day-to-day -day activities and tasks and, and all of that stuff. So that's been really great. I would just recommend this experience to anyone. If you get an opportunity before you graduate college to be able to do something like this. It's, it's nothing like you'll be able to do in the real world, which is why I'm so happy that I've been able to pursue something that I'm passionate about.